Hello, everybody. So this is a non-tutorial on a makeup look I created. One of my girlfriends requested because I showed it in one of the groups, and um, they was like, a tutorial? I was like, uh, I guess. So I said, why not? This is a beginner-friendly makeup video. We are learning together. So not in any way. Once again, I say it all the time. But, yeah, so here we go. All right, so I'm using the e.l.f. Hydrating Under Eye Primer. And I'm using this just to hydrate the under eye, basically what it says. And then I'm using the uh, True Complexion Shine Control Primer by Black Radiance. I don't like putting a lot of stuff on my face, but I was like, let me see if this will hold my BB cream, you know, throughout the day of work and things of that nature. So I don't put that much on there, just enough to cover my face. And I'm just rubbing it in. And now I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal Orange Corrector to cancel out any dark spots on my face, especially under my under eye. Then I'm going to blend everything with my Real Techniques blending, um, Real Technique sponge, I'm sorry. And if I say the wrong terminology, um, I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> I'm still learning. Okay, hey. All right, so now we are going to go with the BB creams. And the BB creams are by Black Radiance. And I'm using Honey Amber and Brown Sugar. I'm using two because I love brown sugar, but it's a little bit too dark for me. So I use a little bit and I mix it together with the Honey Amber. And the Honey Amber I use more of. And I'm scared to use the Honey Amber by itself because I don't want like a ghost. So I don't want like Casper, but I think it's okay. So I may use it by itself one day. And now I'm using the Ultimate Blending Brush by e.l.f. And I'm, I started just started using this. I want to see how it works because I see a lot of anyways using brushes. But I believe I like using the Beauty Blender better because I don't know. I'm so used to I'm so used to it. So I just was like, eh, I don't know. I just wanted to try it to see how it is. But I, I do use it to start off. And then I switch up to the Beauty Blender, as you guys can see here, that I got from my Morphe um, subscription box. And I just started subscribing to them. So, yeah. So, this was out of my first box. All right. So, now I'm using a foundation brush by e.l.f. And it's a nice flat brush. I like it because it definitely, you know, gets everywhere I need to get especially by the eyebrows and makes everything a little bit more sharper and clean and I really do like that about that so I use this on my forehead and now I'm using the LA girl pro conceal um, toast under my under eye to further conceal and to also give a little bit of highlight but I know you guys probably like look it's the same complexion I know um, but you'll see why I'm using this and now I'm using LA Girl Pro Conceal and Fawn because I want to use both of them because I don't want to use Fawn solely because, again, I don't want, like, Casper the Friendly Ghost under my eyes. So, yeah. And now I'm blending with the Real Technique sponge and make sure that everything is blended out. And I put a little bit of more of Fawn, and that's basically it. And now I'm blending with the NYX Mineral Set It and Don't Fret It Matte Finishing Powder. And um, I think this is like my first or second time blending. And I'm scared. I don't, I don't know. And so um, I'm using the my e.l.f., my smaller brush by e.l.f. to take away all the excess powder. And I should have took away more, but I'm still learning, so I have no clue what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't want to like Casper. <laughs> But yeah, that's basically it. All right, so now I'm using the Press Powder by Black Radiance um, Golden Almond. And I'm using my Kabuki Brush by e.l.f. And I'm going to set everything on my face. And I'm going to use this and just set everything and make sure that everything is set, basically. <laughs> and that's basically it. So I make sure that I get all around my face. And now I'm going back to the smaller brush by e.l.f. And I'm getting in between my eyebrows and getting all the crevices and making sure that every all the areas are covered by the pressed powder.
And now I'm going back in with my Kabuki brush by e.l.f. And I'm putting more powder. Well, just a little bit. And I'm probably like, dang, using my powder. I mean, I just want to make sure, you know. I mean, this, you know, do what your heart desires. And this is what my heart desires. <laughs> All right, so here's where the fun begins, okay? I'm using Black Radiance Eye Primer, and you're going to see why. Now, I don't know why it act up <laughs> on this video. And I used it once before, but I don't know what happened. Look, I'm like, what? <laughs> like, what is going on? But I was like, you know what? I'm going to put this stuff on and see what happens. I'm going to let you guys know what I'm using in a few after I go through this little um, mishap. <laughs> I'm um, trying to blend stuff in, you know, and it's not really working, and you'll see why. <sighs> this one I messed up. I realized I messed up. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? And I realized that it wasn't blending correctly, and the Morphe brush wasn't doing it. So I was like, now you know something is going on if the Morphe brush ain't doing it. So I had to go off camera and do it off camera. I was so upset, <laughs> as you guys can see. So I'll do the other eye. But yeah, so I'm using my e.l.f. brush um, on this side. Um, I have my transition and color on this side. And so now I'm going to do the other eye. So I had to wipe off that stuff and use the NYX Eyebrow Base um, Primer. And I had to wipe it off with a makeup cleansing um, makeup cloth. <laughs> and now this is what I'm doing. I did that on the other side. So yeah. And now I'm using the transition color from my Morphe palette 350 and that's basically it so this is the transition color that I always use that I hit the pan and everything but yeah so it's better <laughs> now I'm using my Morphe 517 brush and I'm using the black radiance um, warm berry artesian color baked blush is the warm berry and um i know it's a blush but i was like let me just use it because i see a lot of emuays doing that you know using their blushes their eyeshadow and i really like the color so i was like yeah i'm gonna use it so that's what i'm doing i'm using my morphe brush to blend everything in and i'm going to use this crease brush i believe it's by essence of beauty i'm not sure and i'm using that and just to make the color try to make the color more prominent and i know you can put water dampen the brush a little bit and i think that's what i did off camera to make the color a little bit more prominent and that's basically it about that so i'm just basically blending my little heart away and that's basically it so this is what it looks like and i guess i did a pretty good job with blending i probably could have blended a little bit more but this is you know makeup is about blending and just blend your arms off basically basically <laughs> all right so now i'm using another morphe palette and i forgot what number this is but i'll put in the description bar below i'm gonna use this to kind of like smoke the eye out a little bit i mean just to put it in the crease i'm not really smoking it out per se just just to add some type of depth or something to it i, I don't know what i'm doing but this is what i'm doing so you know y'all probably looking at me like what is she doing and i i'm trying y'all so yeah so i guess but yeah so now i'm using my morphe 350 palette and i'm going to highlight my eyebrow bone with that color as you guys can see that i'm pointing to and i'm going to use an eyeshadow brush i'm not sure where that's from and i blend it off camera as you guys can see i blend it off camera And that's the look right there. So I'm going to take my eyeshadow base and I'm going to take the Elf Flat brush and I'm going to use from that smaller palette by Morphe that I forget what it is. And I'm going to take that silver eyeshadow and I'm going to put it on there. And I use the NYX eyeshadow base because it makes it more prominent and it sticks better. And that's it. I did my eyeliner off camera by Wet n Wild because that is hard to do. But if you guys want to see a tutorial, I guess I can do it. And here's the mascara by Maybelline Falsies. And here is the bronzer. And I put it off camera by mistake. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I thought I was recording. That's why. But um, yeah, so I just added a little bit more so you guys can see. And it's by Palladio. And it's the bronzer. And now I'm using the contour by Black Radiance, the contour palette. And I'm contouring a little bit. And I did use the highlight contour palette, but I did it off camera as well. And now I'm using the Milani Sugar. 
and I love this color so much. I, I, I wear this like 90% of the time. And I can wear this all year round. If you guys know me, you know that I love dark lippies. So, yeah. So, I really like this. I try to sway away from it and try something new, but it don't work at the time. <laughs> and now I'm using the setting spray. Finally, the finale of Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray. And this spray is pretty good. I really do like it. So... Weaving it off and I think I spray a little bit too much <laughs> And that's the final look you guys I guess Tell me tell me what you guys think Okay <laughs> Alright so I'm done That's it I'm out of here And thank you girlfriend for requesting this look I hope I did a good job I don't know I uh, know I'm probably going to get some haters But hey that's that's what it is Thank you for the views and the engagement But anyway that's it you guys If you have any questions Come to the desk Ask comments below Definitely ask the box Or ask me Marquee 1970 Just like Thank you for watching And yeah that's it I hope you liked it you guys And I hope this was helpful Alright <laughs>